Okay, in this video, I am going to go over current for series resistors. And this is the circuit we're going to use. We have a 12 volt battery. We have three resistors in series, R1, R2, and R3. You can see they come one right after the other. They're not parallel, they're in series, and that's why we call them series resistors. So this is the way the current works for series resistors. Typically, we start at the battery and we have a current that comes out of the battery. That would be I is the symbol for current, and B is the abbreviation for battery. We have the current that comes out of the battery. Now, let's just kind of point out before we go through this whole thing that the current really just has one path. There's one loop in this circuit. So when the current goes out of the battery and it goes through resistor number one, all the current that comes out of the battery goes through resistor number one. There's no place for current to either be to leave the circuit or there's no place where current is actually added to the circuit. That means that the current out of the battery is equal to the current through resistor number one. Or you can say the other way around, the current through resistor number one, this being I1, is equal to the current out of the battery. Now the current just continues along its way. There's still no place for new current to come in or current to go out. So therefore, we have the current that goes through resistor number two, and that's going to be equal to the current through one, which is equal to the current through the battery. And then the current continues, and it goes through resistor number three, and that means it's equal to two, to two, one, and also to the current out of the battery. And then it comes back, and whatever left the battery, the current out of the battery, is the same current that comes back to the battery after going through the resistors. Now I just want to point out because some people think the current gets used up or destroyed when it goes through the resistors. The current, the electrons, they carry energy, and the energy gets used by the resistors or by the circuit, but the current does not get used up. The current carries the energy, the current is the same, the number of electrons is the same, they just lose their energy, they don't have any energy when they get back, but the point is that the current does not get destroyed. The energy gets used that is carried by the current. So we can basically um, sum this rule up for current in series resistors by saying the current is the same through each element of a series circuit. Okay? That's all there is to it. Now, we can actually calculate the current pretty easily because there's only one current to calculate. And the way we usually do that, first we know the voltage, and we can solve for the current using Ohm's law, V equals I times R. We know the voltage. We want to find the current. This is a series circuit. It's pretty easy to get the equivalent resistance. and Just add these up. So we can do that pretty easily. So let's just do that. So we have the current that comes out of the battery is equal to the voltage of the battery, and that's equal to the equivalent resistance. So I like to think of this. We have the total current, the total voltage, and the total resistance. Okay, so we want, we're not going to use the resistance of one of the resistors because we want to find the total current. So we have to use the total voltage or, and therefore the total or the equivalent resistance. And when we find the equivalent resistance for series circuits, we just add them up. It's just 5 plus 9 ohms plus 7 ohms. 5 and 9 is 14 plus 7 is 21. So that means the current is 12 volts because it's a 12 volt battery divided by 21 ohms and that means the current out of the battery and the current in any place in the circuit any place even if somebody was to ask you well, what's the current right here at this point or right here at this point or somewhere over here or through the middle of this resistor 0 0.57 amperes amps okay so that's it that's really all there is for the current it's pretty straightforward series resistors the current is the same anywhere in the circuit. Thank you for watching. I hope you found that helpful. If you found it helpful, give me a thumbs up or a comment in the comment section below, and we will see you in the next video. Thank you.